Hey guys, I'm going to walk you through the process of how to connect Aweber to your phone sites funnel, just in case you wanted to set up um, your uh, your email follow up through Aweber. It's really simple. So whenever you're setting up your account, um, one of the things that's going to be first asked of you is a list name. And so I had already created one. I just called it test, but let's go ahead and create a, a new one. I just want to show you how that's done. So basically, yeah, after you've submitted like in the, the, the sign up phase of adding in like your credit card information, your name and your company name and your domain and so forth, your, your website domain, um, it asks you to set up that first list, but let's go ahead and create a new list. So I'm going to go ahead and select create a new list down here. Um, as you can see, I'm at the home tab up here, account overview, and then down towards the bottom, I've got create a new list. So let's go ahead and select that as an option and keep the company name. So you put your company name in here, you put your company website in there if it's not already pre-populated. Um, you'll need to have your address in there. So they'll ask you for the address whenever you're setting up your account, but you should have this in there. Um, you can click through to, to see why they're asking for that to be in there, but um, any email follow-up that you're sending out like this or newsletter or whatever, you should have your contact information there, your website and your contact information. Of course, um, Aweber will put in there uh, whether or not they can subscribe or unsubscribe, right? At the bottom, there should be like a, a link to opt out. Okay, so I'm going to leave my sender name alone. I'm going to leave this sender email alone. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and select next step. And let's call this, um, the name of my funnel that I'm going to use here is the Toledo Hair Salon Funnel. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this PS Users Demo. Toledo. This might run out of spaces here. Or characters. Uh, yeah, I ran out of characters right there at the end. Okay. So that's going to be the name of my list that I'm going to use here. And then um, you'll want to put in a description here that uh, will be helpful for whoever is receiving your emails to understand what list that they have just been added to. So you can see right here, it says your subscribers will see this description and then you can click through to see um, like where specifically they'll see that. But let's just put in here, um, thanks, you've been added to the Toledo Hair Salon. Good enough for the demo, right? <laughs> okay, next step, and keep the language as English. Uh, subject line, I'm gonna keep this where it's personalized. So as you can see here, um, Aweber, they personalize subject uh, emails and then also the body a little bit differently than we do for phone sites. And everyone's gonna be a little different in this, but they put in one curly bracket and then um, an exclamation point, right? Okay, so I'm gonna leave that alone. And I could click in here to edit this, but I'm not. This is gonna be the message that they get the lead gets whenever they have opted into your funnel. Um, you can go in and you can edit the message content, but I'm not going to do that. So let's go ahead and select approve message and create list. And up in my drop down under current list, I should have my new, which one was it? This one right here. So this is one I just created with you guys, the PS user demo Toledo hair salon. Okay. All right. So that's good. Now the next step is I need to connect phone sites to Aweber. So, uh, some integrations you'll see where you have to add in what's called an API key. Um, you have to do that with MailChimp, for example, or if you're integrating um, some sort of software in with Zapier, for example. Uh, but in this case, though, for Aweber, for the integration between Aweber and phone sites, um, all you really have to do is you log into your Aweber account. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to go. I'm in my my funnel here uh, in the account. I'm going to go ahead and click into config. Scroll down to um, Aweber. Let's go ahead and click into that. Select connect. And then uh, it brings me here to the authorization uh, page to scroll in. So, or <laughs> to um, not scroll in. To, uh, to log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and select allow access because that's my login information there. And it brings me back here. So I'm now connected to Aweber. 
see, if I click back into Aweber under the config screen, I can see that I'm not connected. And I could go ahead and test the connection, which is always a good idea, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. We're actually gonna test it with the funnel itself. So I'm gonna go back to pages and I'm gonna select uh, the, the opt-in page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into that. And I'm gonna go into settings and then um, scroll down. And uh, once you've made that connection for your site, you're gonna see under settings and under advanced, you can see right here, you now have a new option. This is for Aweber. This only shows up after you've made that connection to Aweber, okay? So for here under Aweber, you need to select the appropriate list. So if you had like five or six different lists, you'll need to pick the appropriate one. In this case, we just created the PS user demo Toledo hair salon. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then select save. And then once that's connected, now I should be able to have my lead flow through to Aweber. And then I should get an email notifying me uh, of the lead. Let's see what email I just got over here. So Aweber just said to me that I've connected phone sites to my Aweber account. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and delete that. You'll receive that too after you make that connection. But let's go back over here to phone sites. And let's go to view. And let's just fill out our contact information, request the appointment. And then we should get an email from Aweber, which we do. So here we go. Here's our Aweber email. And it's saying that I've um, opted in here to this list, the PS user demo Toledo hair salon list. And if I click here to confirm my subscription, back in Aweber, it's going to say that I have subscribed, right? Okay, so as you can see here, so it's got the, um, uh, like the contact information here and so forth, which is supposed to be in there for emails that are sent out like this uh, when you're added to a list. Okay, so let's go ahead and opt back in over here to the uh, Aweber page. So you can see I don't have any subscribers yet. So let's go ahead and click refresh. Now let me go ahead and confirm my subscription. So now I'm confirmed and I should now get another email back over here. And maybe, maybe there's a delay for that. Let's go back over here to Aweber and refresh. So there we go. So there's our subscriber. That would be me. And if we go into, there's our list here. So there's our 